Elise. And I'm Dan. And this is Time, Time to, to Wine. Wind. So we're going to have a Merlot from Washington State. You said you've had this one before, right? I have. Um, I've, I've had this brand. I don't know if I've actually had the Merlot, but I've had this brand before and yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. What is the back side? Columbia Crest. Oh, it's Columbia Crest H3. It's a 2016 Merlot. It says Horse Heaven Hills. I don't know if that's a place though. Opening with aromas of spice and blackberry, this Merlot showcases a perfect balance of earth, cocoa, and ripe cherry flavors with a rich velvety finish. Wow. Hmm. That sounds good. Sounds nice. Uh, so. Cheers to. Episode three. And many more. <laughs> Danny's loopy. And this is going to be funny. Okay. Yeah. All right. Obnoxious. Oh, I like it. I mean, it tastes like a... It tastes like a typical Merlot, but like... It's nice. Yeah, I like it. I, there was something that I actually... I don't taste blackberry. <laughs> I'm not sure what I taste. I taste... I don't taste earth, so... That's not there. I mean, what earth, what does earth I don't, really taste like? I mean, dirt. That's what I think of when they say it's so earthy. I think dirt. Maybe that's the cherry flavor I'm thinking. Maybe a like cocoa. I don't know. What I think about it. it. Kind of tastes like a sour cherry. Hmm. You get a little taste of that. Like one of those, like when you eat them too soon. Yeah. Hmm. Nice and tart. I wouldn't say tart though. Tart. I wouldn't say it's tart because I'm not getting that like when I think of tart, I'm like, I wanna like You always do that. Pucker. Yeah. Like I'm not getting I'm not getting that taste. I'm getting but I'm also not getting cocoa. Yeah, I'm not getting cocoa either. I'm getting like like a cherry kind of taste and um I mean, it's really good. It's really, really good. What year? Uh, 2016. 2016. So it's really, it's a really good Merlot. I used to hate Merlot. I used to think it was like the epitome of nasty wine. But oh my God, like, no. What? It reminds me of Seinfeld. What do you mean it reminds you of Seinfeld? Wait, it's like, well, how about Merlot? I love Merlot. I live for Merlot. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of Merlot. <laughs> I was just like, you keep saying we're allowing to remind me of something that I have to say. <laughs> Which this brings us to our topic of discussion for today. It was a perfect segue that you mentioned Seinfeld. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about TV shows today. Yes, because we mm -hmm. love TV shows. Not necessarily TV shows that pair with wine, though, because... I mean, you can just drink wine whenever. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, TV shows. Danny clearly likes Seinfeld. I mean, I do too. I yes. just haven't watched it. So, ooh, ooh. What? This cheese with this wine does not go. Or maybe it's these crackers. Maybe it's the crackers. I'm not sure because that was really gross tasting. I've never been able to do that before where I can pinpoint why something doesn't taste good with the wine. You know what I mean? I'm gonna try just the cheese and then the wine again and see because that was super gross sounds gross mm -hmm. <laughs> i think it was the cracker the cracker the cracker has like an onion like taste to it i can't remember which ones they are it like they taste like un like there's like um like yeah like an onion flavor to it so i would say this wine does not go well with onions at all. Or just these crackers. I don't know, but it really goes with the cheddar. What is your favorite TV show? Besides Seinfeld. Okay, so. I'll bring up Seinfeld because it's such a great show, by the way. 
Um, our parents used to watch when we were younger. We were always like, oh, God, you have to watch this show. We hate this show. Like, you know. You just want to watch our cartoons. like Kids, man. Yeah. And then we grow up and we're just like, oh my god. I know. Best show ever. It's so funny. Okay, so like me, yeah, Seinfeld. Mm -hmm. I can could, I could play that over and over. Hmm. Um, I feel that way about the TV show Merlin. It's an older show, I think from the early 2000s. Is it that old? Possibly. Mm-hmm. Sure. Mm-hmm. Pretty sure. Hold on. Let's look at the laptop. 2008. That's not early 2000. Eh. I love that show. <laughs> it's about King Arthur's time and all that fun, fun jazz. Mm -hmm. We know Merlin is. I'm just saying. That and The 100. I can watch that over and over and over again, too. Um. That's an apocalyptic apocalyptic story i never saw it you should watch it it's really good yeah they just wrapped the um or they just aired the season the series finale oh they're done with it mm -hmm. i mean there were some storylines where i was like nah. yeah not not that they were bad they just i just wasn't interested what else did you like what else do you like for tv shows Star Trek. The next generation the most, I think. Yeah. Next generation the most. I would say my second favorite would be... Yeah, those crackers do not go well with this. Yeah. Like, at did all. Did you try another one? I did. Stop. Don't do it. I'm not after that. Ugh. No, I'm not. Not after that. That was really bad. Yeah. I just had to double yeah. check, you know? Star Trek Next Generation for me, then Star Trek Voyager. I don't like well, actually, I would actually bump Voyager down because I really liked Discovery. I haven't watched it yet. It's really good. But I haven't watched the second season. So. Is it out yet? I didn't think yeah, it's it been out. Thought, oh, I thought that was coming out. You have to have CBS to watch it. Oh. So Danny and I, when we were younger, not so much when we were younger, but um, what was it like maybe 10 years ago? We would start watching like really really like we we thought the the stories or the we thought the shows were going to be like really stupid so we would start watching them together yeah like pretty little liars or vampire diaries we <laughs> so vampire diaries we saw the trailer for that and we're like oh my god this looks so dumb mm -hmm. let's watch it yep that's basically what happened we ended up really liking both we really liked the show, like, from the first episode, we were like, what? We, yeah, we what? were... The, and and we was, were like, we have to watch the next one. Because it was just so different from the trailer, I feel like. Yeah, the trailer the, was just so, like, girl meets boy. Yeah, Boy meets was, girl. Boy has secret. No, it just reminded us of Twilight. I think that's probably the problem. And Because, yeah, you know, we read all the Twilight books. Mm. We saw most of the movies at that point when... Vampire Diaries came out, and we're just like, ugh. It's just like another, it's like a Twilight spinoff thing. Let's mm -hmm. watch it. And then it was nothing like that at all. I will say, we didn't say, it's a Twilight spinoff, let's watch it, because we are, like, avid. Oh my gosh, go Twilight. We love Twilight. No. And I'll admit, I got into the, the, the hype, you know, when the books came out. Yeah. But, like, looking back, I don't understand the hype. <laughs> I don't understand what got, like... I don't understand that hype because it's about it's literally funny. a girl with no personality and uh -huh. a vampire who just broods about being a vampire. But Twilight but like, was all about, like, I don't know. I didn't like the sparkly vampire thing. I thought that was the weird. The sparkly vampire thing was stupid. It was, you know... Vampires are supposed to burn in the sun. Yeah, like a stake to the heart, burn in the sun, you have to be invited in. I thought that was cool. I did like that, that they had that in there, because then it was always like, there were always parts where like non-vampires would say, can I come in? And then you're like, oh no, they're a vampire, because you don't really know. And you're like, don't invite them in! Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, a show I really liked was Nurse Jackie. 
Oh, you had me like that. That was a good one. It was so good. I love the beginning intro. She's like, dear God, make me good. I got that one because she's like. I haven't watched that one in a really long time, so I don't really remember. Your top five TV shows of all time. Top five. Of all time, Dan. What would you pick? I mean, I love the originals the most. The originals are good. That's your favorite, favorite of all time? I don't know though. Parks and Rec. Oh, yes. Yes. I that put that good. in my top. I love that one. I know. Um, Parks. Leslie Nope is just so funny. I know. Like, She's like. She makes I you want wish. To be her. She makes you wish that she was your friend. So then, definitely. Yeah. Amy Poehler. I wish she was my friend. I just saw a commercial. I think it was a Comcast commercial or something. Her and she, Tina Fey. She walked into an open house, or like, she walked into someone's house and was showing someone, <laughs> and they're just like, "What are you doing? This is my house." She's like, "Yeah, but this is the open house," and then they're just like. No, this is my house. It's not for sale. She's like, well, the door was open, so open house. <laughs> Something like that. I was like, <laughs> I was like I wait, what? I love her. Yeah. I love her. Yeah. Top five. You did this to me with the movie episode, so. I know. But it's just like top five. There's so many shows I've watched mm. that I've liked. Like, it's <laughs> not even like, oh, God, like. Lisa, <laughs> why? Okay, top three. No, that's not going to leave something out. <laughs> okay, well, so my top five. Yeah, you go first. Maybe that'll help me. <laughs> my top five would be The Office. Oh my gosh, we need to hit The Office, Parks and Rec, Merlin, Star Trek, The Next Generation. This is not necessarily in that order. These are just my top five. It could be in any order. The hundred. So yeah, those are my top five. Okay. I can watch them over and over and over again and not get bored with them. And they're easily not shows that I can leave in the background because I'm like, I wanna watch. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I get captivated by them every single time. Like it doesn't matter. So. I would say Parks Supernatural. Mm -hmm. See the, that? The, oh, I can like rewatch the original seasons. I, yeah, like the first three seasons were good. I mean, there's 15 of them. I know, but the first three seasons it's were too good. Too many. That's too many. It's too much. But. They lost me after I think like season 10 or season 11. I can't even remember where I stopped watching. It's just like. It's just. I feel like the show just repeats. Like everything. Oh yeah, it does. And there's only so many times you can die and come back to life before it's just like, okay, we've been here before. Oh, we're, we're at the point in the show where death has even said, you guys can't die anymore and come back. <laughs> so they're, they're, cap, they're tapped out. <laughs> tapped out. Good witch, good witch. I can um, watch it all the time. So work. did you say all your top fives? No, because I can't think of any. So you said Parks and Rec, the Good Witch, what else did you say? I'm gonna back off of Supernatural because you're right, it's dumb. It's <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I think of like the you're nostalgia right. of like. <laughs> well, yeah, like <clears throat> I like Supernatural just for the the bonding that we all we had. all had when we were watching it. But like, as far as the actual storyline and the show, not so much, not anymore. Like I said, the first three seasons were probably like the best ones and then and then it just sort of tapered off and it's just been on like a it's they've they've had like a roller coaster with a side violin in the background yeah you knew we were talking about tv shows today i know i didn't think you were guys bring on like what are your top five we did that with the movies why wouldn't i do it with the tv well, shows movies are a little easier because they're only two hours long you know what I mean? so. like okay so parks and rack seinfeld the office. Okay, I, okay, so I'll throw in Good Witch because I'll just keep that yeah. going. So. Yeah. Oh, S, SVU. There you go. I can't watch SVU anymore. 
but I mean, I'm really excited for This Is Us to come back. I've only watched the first episode, and I've never finished it after that. <clears throat> so you're gonna say the first episode? You never finished the first episode? No, I don't even think I finished the first episode. <laughs> So This Is Us is pretty much, it's really nice, the acting is great, but it's pretty much a show that's just like, oh, that's Who's sad. Who's gonna die today? No, it's just, oh, that's sad. Why is everybody so depressed and why is it so sad? It just makes you feel sad. That's why I never watched it. I have enough sadness. It's a good show if you want to feel sad. <laughs> I don't like to feel sad, so that's why I don't watch it. I've heard it's really, like, it has a lot of really great acting in it, though. Yeah. But it makes you feel sad. I don't want to feel sad, so that's why I don't watch it. The Haunting of Bly Manor is coming out on Netflix. I'm so what excited. What is that? As a TV show? Yeah. It's what? like the same people that, you know, did, you know, mm -hmm. Haunting of Hell House. But, yeah, it's a whole different story. I think it's based off of something. Mm -hmm. And um, some of the actors that were in Hill House, they're going to be playing different characters mm -hmm. in this new show. Hmm. And you know what show I did get into? Uh, Dynasty for a little bit. Duck Dynasty? No, Dynasty. What's Dynasty? I've never heard of it. Well, okay, so there was the old 1980s soap opera, <laughs> and then the CW <laughs> came out with a modern version of that. Oh. Which, yeah. Oh, I also like the um, In the Dark I've never on heard the of CW. It. I went through a really, oh, so I went and I got my master's and while I was getting my master's, actually while I was getting my bachelor's and my master's, I wasn't watching like any TV shows, so I'm like way behind the times. So that's it for today. Um, please like and subscribe our channel. We put out new videos every Wednesday. Yeah, and if you have any wine recommendations or um, things you'd like to hear us talk about, then please leave us a comment below and we'll try to do that. All right, and we'll see you next week. All right. Bye. Bye. A Merlot, Merlot from Washington. A Merlot from Washington Merlot. State. Merlot. Why do you guys do that? I don't know. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I can't bite it. I can't bite it. Mm. It's making it worse than it should be. Here we go. <laughs> Why? I'm on two Red Bulls. I'm just wired. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness.